This is almost 25 years ago, and I'm not going to get into all the details, but I was lying in bed during the Christmas break. It was probably as late as, I don't know, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It was, uh, you know, I'd had a horrible experience. And I'm praying. You know, I mean, I first was exposed to Jesus' prayer when I was, uh, what, I think 11 years old. And I'm praying. And at one moment, as I was lying there, I was overwhelmed by the sense that there was actually someone on the other end. In other words, that my prayer was actually being received, being heard by someone. Now you can say to yourself, I mean, that is so obvious. Why should that have been revelatory? Well, what was revelatory for, that, for me at that moment was the extent to which I had been using even the Jesus prayer as a way to, you know, do self-affirmation, to make myself calm, you know, to get in tune with, you know, what's, what's in my environment, this, you know, kind of, you know, all these ideas of a mindfulness, etc. And it became obvious to me that even though I had never for a moment doubted the fact that God exists, God is listening, God is, uh, you know, hopefully inspiring my prayer. God is certainly receiving my prayer. The fact is, at an operative subconscious level, there was a way in which my talking to God was still very much a projection of me. It was basically me just emanating kind of, you know, conscious vibes without a total full awareness of that objective dynamic powerful reality of God's presence okay now where does that come from 